In case you missed it on Friday, the man at the center of an animal abuse investigation pointed a gun at our CBS 8 News crew. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Deputies confirm the man on the video holding his rifle is Craig Netwig. He walked down a driveway toward our CBS 8 photographer and reporter Anna Laurel. Tonight, the investigation into the condition of horses on Netwig's property continues. Anna was there when the gun was brought out on Friday and went back today to bring us this report. The horse property in question is just down the hill there, but because the property owner pulled a gun on my photographer and I when we were out here on Friday night, we're staying far away. But we did send the CBS 8 drone up to take a look. The county believes there were 40 to 60 horses at this property off Artesian Road just outside Rancho Santa Fe when they were first called out last month. This is what it looks like today, now part of an animal services investigation. There's no herd management going on here. We need an equine veterinarian out here. Audrey Reynolds has owned horses most of her life and has operated a rescue for nearly two decades. She's been involved with county animal abuse investigations before. I asked her to walk us through the process since the county won't share details during an active investigation. But only an equine veterinarian, you know, a so-called horse specialist can even go through a horse from head to toe and say what they, in their opinion, what might be wrong with the horses. Today, the department told me animal control officers have been to the property, but wouldn't confirm if they've had access to all the horses. They say they've spoken with property owner Deborah Barkley and her personal veterinarian at least 10 times since March 17th. They went just last week because a horse died in a pasture trapped in mud. If they thought that this mare was getting toward the end of her life, they probably should have given her humane euthanasia before it got to the stage where she lay down in a pool of mud one day and couldn't get up. We showed Audrey our drone video. She says she can see right away the property is not following California Penal Code 597B that requires protection from weather. There is clearly no shelter out here. We've had a very cold, wet winter. A lot of these horses have probably suffered. Uh, not being able to get away from the wind and the driving cold rain. When I first came here Friday, I saw a horse with a gash in its leg and horses struggling to walk in the pasture closest to the road. When I asked the county how long their investigation could last, they told me, quote, it takes as long as it takes. This is a full-time job. This is not just throw horses in the yard and throw them some hay. This is a full-time commitment. In Rancho Santa Fe, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.